We released some birds back out at the Avalon Reservoir today. We're here at Avalon Lake with Dr. Urig once again from Desert Willow Wildlife Rehab. We are releasing a couple of beautiful birds back into the wild and they've got these awesome crazy sharp beaks. So we're just about to open the kennels. They've been in custody for just a few days. Can you tell us what was that species that we did release today? Well, those were grebes, and they're, uh, those particular birds were either a, a Western or a Clark's grebe or a hybrid of the two. Oh, okay. Uh, the species used to be considered one species, and then they were split off into two separate species. And uh, there are some marking differences, but there's also a variation that makes it hard to tell Kind of to a tell muddy line. Where a true Clark's grebe has white all the way around the eye, and a Western, the, the white is below the mm -hmm. eye but the birds we released today, one of them, the line was right through the ah. eye. <laughs> and so it's, it's really tough to tell. Um, sometimes there's a size difference. Sometimes they have a little bit different vocalization, mm. but there's a lot of gray area there. Oh, yeah. And so it's, it's difficult to tell the species apart. And we were talking about if somebody comes across a wild injured bird, what do you recommend? Well, handle it as little as possible. Um, make sure first that it actually does need help. Some, right. Sometimes, especially right now, birds are fledging, and so they're learning how to fly, and they might be on the ground for a short period of time, but if they're not in any immediate danger, it's best just to leave them alone. A lot of times the parents aren't very far away, and so leave them alone and, and just watch for a few hours, come back and check them a few hours later. If they're still there, or if they seem like they're cold, or um, in some sort of danger, if there's a cat or a dog that's trying okay. to attack them, then it's a good idea to go ahead and pick them up. And you want to put them um, ideally in a cardboard box. That's a nice, safe enclosure, uh, dark and quiet. They won't stress so easily. And so then you want to try to get them to a rehabilitator just as quickly as you can. And if you're not sure who in your area is able to, to legally do rehabilitation, contact the local animal control um, local animal shelter or a game and fish officer and they can direct you to a rehabilitator or they can even take the, the bird or animal to a, a rehabilitator for you. Now I know a lot of times people like to email me, which I love, or, or message me on my Facebook account and ask very general questions. And would you say that there are many diverse species and each one has specific needs? Oh yes, and I, it's best just to not give them anything at all. Okay. Um, sometimes animals are too stressed to eat or drink. Um, a lot of times we'll have animals brought in that were fed inappropriate food. Mm. And so not only do we have to try to take care of whatever illness or injury brought them to us in the first place, but we also have to take care of any digestive upset that mm. occurred from the food. No fun. Yeah, no fun <laughs> at all. And so, you know, it just it makes matters kind of worse if we're having to, to add more problems on to that list. And so if you can just keep them calm and quiet and transport them to somebody who can take appropriate care of them, that's the best thing. Excellent.